I got a Yahoo from uh, level 50, 51. Wow, I guess I downgraded him a little bit. <laughs> what did he do? He's playing a different game. He has leveled up from 1 to 51 this quickly in a totally different game. Anyway, it's Drew Davenport, everybody. Thank you, Drew. It's by Yahoo Answers user Uncle Danny Smells. Oh. <laughs> Uncle Danny Smells asks, How do I eat a Mr. Whippy in public without looking like a nutcase? Hold on. How do I eat a Mr. Whippy? Mr. Whippy. Can you guys say that for me? Mr. Whippy. No, Mr. Whippy. You don't have to do fun voices. You can just say I wasn't. Oh, wow. That's just how that word comes out then. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, how do I eat a Mr. What Whippy? What is a Mr. Whippy? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's okay, a, now uh, I've committed to a bit. Yeah. Mr. Whippy is a soft serve ice creamed ice cream to come. Isn't that the ice cream man in Pete and Pete? Mr. Whippy? Possibly. No, um, no Mr. Tasty. Mr. Tasty. That was right. Thank you. Uh, Mr. I'm uh, assuming Mr. there's an homage, though. <laughs> I'm assuming it's an homage. I believe Mr. Whippy is uh, an Australian thing. Let me okay. Just do a quick Google. Yeah, Australia and New Zealand. There's a Mr. Whippy. But I mean, the the idea is, I think, pretty universal. We're talking about an ice cream cone. We're talking about that like weird styrofoam platform cone that's not especially delicious. A sugar cone, if you will. I don't know, not even a sugar cone. What do you fucking call that thing? It's like uh, insulation. It's like, uh, it's like a, a structured cone that has like a cone inside of another cone and there's like joints and shit connecting it. It's got to have a proper name, right? Yeah. I think it's just a standard Mr. Whippy cone. Uh, and then right. you got the swirl going up of soft serve and then you just party on that. I, I guess my real question is, and I mean this sincerely. Yeah. I've never seen anyone eat one of those and look like a crazy person. Well, you've never worked at the country's best yogurt, have you? <laughs> Do you is see a lot a of real cool styles? I'm saying as a, a former the country's best yogurt employee of the month, several months running, um, I earned that honorific by not fucking laughing at people who ate Mr. Whippies in front of me. <laughs> and it was hard, Travis, it was hard. What were they doing wrong? They were doing everything wrong. <laughs> it's a, how, how, let's role play. Let's D and D this out. I'll be your DM. I hand you a Mr. Whippy. Uh huh. <laughs> what do you do now? Roll for initiative. How do you atta- how do you attack that motherfucker? Well, first things first. I'm going to take care of that that little flipped over part on the top and just bite that off. You can bite that right off. Okay. How did you roll, just hold roll on? To do you, see if he roll to see if he has sensitive tooth pain. Do you do you just sort of position your giant head over this thing like the mothership in Independence Day and then sort of lower your gob down no. onto and then you sort of encompass it directly like that? I'm going to be honest. I'd probably panic and try to bring it from the top to my mouth. Oh, so oh, end up losing it. Yeah, you lost it. You lost the game. Can I try? Can yeah, I try? Justin, I hand you a okay. Mr. Whippy cone. Roll for initiative. <laughs> That's my dice. That's my dice roll noise. Okay, uh, I extend my tongue just so uh, like that. I Wait, extend my tongue. Slow I, down. Slow down. down. Okay, I extend my tongue just so, uh, and then I place the Mister Whippy against my tongue, uh, and then I make this noise. <laughs> Is it gone yet? It's still can, there. Can you roll to see if it's still there? <laughs> and it's gone you did it yay never again do that crunch, munch, crunch, okay munch. so your your strat for for down in this month this bad boy yeah. is to just do it as fast as possible and hope <laughs> <laughs> it, as loudly and graphically as possible sure. it as unpleasantly as human sonic the most sonically unpleasant consumption strategy i could devise every mr whippy truck has a picture of justin that says do not serve <laughs> do this not man. serve this man <laughs> very upsetting for local kids um I mean, I guess it's like a blowjob thing. Like, you don't want to, like... Whoa! No, I'm just saying, I think that's what this person's worried about. Like, how can I eat this Mr. Whippy? Because if you go top-down, then, yeah, I guess there will be some sort of visual similarity. If you go at it from the side, you're going to look like some sort of crazy rancor. <laughs> has anyone... But I, uh, other than Griffin working at the country's best yoga, has anyone <laughs> ever, like, seen someone buying a, a cone of ice cream and thought, well, let's see how he does? <laughs> Good luck. And do, and do you know what's personally Come on hot shot? Show me what you got. Do you know what's oh. personally offensive to me as a as the the fucking superstar of the 
of West Virginia's best, the country's best yogurt. Nobody fucking ever asked me how to do it. Nobody, you're there with a fucking pro. If you're balling with Michael Jordan, you don't just do it in front of him and don't ask him to put on a clinic. Now, right. here's the thing, though, but I imagine that even worse than looking like a nutcase is worrying about looking like a dude who can't figure out an ice cream cone. How Excuse glad me, would sir. that have been Pardon if me. someone brought you a code just like, listen, <laughs> I, I can't get from A to B on this bad boy. <laughs> listen, I tried to come at it from every it angle. It has nothing to do with doing it. Anybody can eat a fucking ice creamed cone, <laughs> yeah. and anybody, you know, anybody can play basketball in front of Michael Jordan. Are you, Do you doing it see perfect? somebody like scrolling their phone for eHow articles about how <laughs> it, the, the ice cream melting in one hand? They're just flipping through pages on on their uh, their phone on the other, trying to find that one eHow article that's going to let them yeah. get inside the head of this burly beast. Let me tell you about it. Let me tell you about it. There's there's it, there's it's a multi stage fight they are having with this cone, and and the first two steps. Are it's a waiting game at first because you really want the bottom to get soggy. I know that seems mm-hmm. counterintuitive, but hear me out. The first stage is all about maintenance and it's about discretion. You want to try and keep your mouth behind the ice creamed portion of the cone. You want to keep that that ice creamed portion between your mouth and any waiting hungry eyes that want to see what you're doing because they're fucking everywhere. What would you think about a strategy where you put the whole cone in your mouth just for safekeeping and hell there, but you kept your mouth kind of spread open and <laughs> in like inside so that you're not actually touching the ice cream? Like an incubator. Mouth. No, that's yes. that sounds great. It's not going to work in practice. Okay, you got to maintain just maintain that maintain that top discreetly. Okay, you want to keep okay. dribbles from dripping off you. Uh, a napkin is helpful in this regard if you want to keep it around the styrofoam base. Terrific if that's your prerogative. I got to, I reached a, a level of skill. Where I the, the napkin was no longer required. Um, no napkins required. No napkins required. It was kind of it was actually kind of embarrassing to have it there. So you maintain it right until you reach that point of peak sogginess at the bottom, and at that point you've whittled down the ice creamed portion of the cone, and then you're gonna love this. You guys are gonna fucking love this. Okay. You pick up the cone, hold it above your head like an ice creamed beer bomb. <laughs> and you bite the bottom directly off of it, all of a sudden, you're playing an upwards trumpet to the heavens, and that ice cream is just gonna fucking power blast down your throat, and you're gonna love it. And then what do you got there? You have the perfect, the styrofoam has soaked up the cream in such a pleasing manner, you can just fold that little gushy baby up and just go to town. You have three distinct levels of strategy and three like unique textures three unique flavor experiences it is the only way to down a mr whippy i like the i like it when they put the cone on top and then decorate it with ice king to make it look like a clown get the fuck out of here i have a different strategy you can use the justin mcelroy step one suck it like it's a dick step two (laughs) play air guitar step three high five every kid in the store (laughs) that also works yeah what I like to do is I, I take one bite and I say, too hot, and I throw it on the ground. <laughs> it's great. It's a red.